Hey, how you doing? I'm Peter Poletti, Director of Admissions here at Corning College. To my left is Mr. Keith Alexander, Career Services. How you doing, Keith? I'm good, Peter. Yourself? I'm great, thank you. We are here today to give you a little bit of information about Corning College. The reason we're giving you this information is because not too long ago, somewhere in the, in the recent past, you reached out to us looking for some information about Corning College and what we can do for you in the, in the field of construction trades. Now, we've been doing construction trades training since 1899. So we, we, you know, we are you know, considered masters of what we do in those fields of concentration. Now when you think about coming to school, you want to think first and foremost where you are in your life. Now you contacted us because one, usually one of three things has happened. Usually you, you might be working in the construction field right now and you are looking to enhance what you're currently doing. Maybe you're working for a manufacturing company in the maintenance department or you're working in construction and you want to do a little bit more on the electrical side or maybe you want to become an HVAC technician and you heard about what we can do for you as an HVAC technician. The second part might be maybe you're unemployed and you've been unemployed for some time and you're getting a little bit nervous about where the, how you're going to pay your bills and maybe a new career for you is in order. Or maybe you're underemployed where you're just not happy or you're just not making enough money to suit you or your family and to help you and your family get through, you know, through on, the, on the financial side. And when you think about going to school, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. I represent the beginning. Keith represents the end, and in the middle is your instruction, okay? So on the beginning side, I'm in the admissions department. I'm gonna help you learn all about Coin College so you can make a decision about attending school. I'm gonna take you on a tour of our facilities. Our facility, we have about 13 labs here, some electrical, some HVAC. You're gonna love the labs. We're in one of the labs right now. This is our, one of our HVAC labs. Uh, exactly, we are in the air conditioning lab laboratory okay it's a combination of classroom and lab time work and that really is the best way to learn something like this okay i'm also going to talk to you about the programs we have we have a shorter fast track program called a diploma program we have a longer more comprehensive program called an associate of applied science degree which one's better for you have no idea that's why you and i need to meet and talk okay when you get accepted into the school admission-wise, the next step, of course, is to attend training, okay? That training can be as fast as 42 weeks, it can be as long as 78 weeks during the daytime, or as long as 104 weeks at night. Which one's best for you? Again, we gotta sit down and talk a little bit. But when you are finishing up your program, and actually before you finish up your program, you're gonna meet with Keith and his team in the uh, Career Services Department, and they're gonna tell you the ending because if we, if, if we don't help you get a job, then I don't feel we've done our job, and I'm sure that Keith will agree with that. And so I'm gonna turn the keys over to you, Keith, and okay. why don't you tell a little bit about the end. Okay, well, first of all, I wanna thank you, Peter, for the job that you and your team have done over the past few years in terms of recruiting quality students to uh, make our jobs a little bit easier, and it's a great um, um, commitment that you guys have shown. Um, second thing I wanna talk about is the options that you have moving forward. Uh, we've read that in the construction trades, there will be a 20% increase in employment by the year 2020. Understand how between now and then, you have, right now have the opportunity to be a part of that tremendous growth in the construction trades. What we do in career services, we uncover hidden job markets. We uh, call employers on a consistent basis, we're finding out what their needs are. Once we're able to identify what those needs are, we use the skills that you acquire as a student to match up those needs to make sure that you're a viable candidate and make sure that your career gets off and running in a positive way. Um, the second thing that we do is we work closely with the instructors to make sure that our, the, the, the curriculum that's being offered to our students matches up with the needs of employers as well. We do that what we call provide program advisory committee meetings. And that's where we invite employers in twice a year to give us feedback on what's happening in the field to make sure that our curriculum is up to par and current with today's technology. The last thing is we, um, in development of that student and employer connection, is we have career fairs. At our last career fair in September, we had 47 employers out and was represented by 93 individuals on a Wednesday afternoon. So what that tells me, it matches up with that 20%. The demand for jobs are out there. Your job as a prospective student is to one, come on in and enroll and, and go through orientation, um, do, what, do well in class, show up every day, and making sure that you and I build a network from the beginning so we can make sure that you create your value point and move forward in your career.
Sounds good. Well said. So, just to finish up, the beginning, admissions. The middle is the training. The end is career services. By the way, career services, when someone gets a job, they want to come back, how they, they can come back even after they're out in the field, right? Absolutely. That's a great point. Understand that your network and association with career service does not end at the time of graduation. That relationship lasts throughout your career. So if you look at the beginning phase of orientation and being able to have that network for no matter how long your career lasts, 15, 20, 30 years, that relationship continues throughout that process. So when you talk about the investment that you're making to get a return for your for a lifetime, that's a good thing for my buck any day. There you, there you go. One other thing, and this, I, I don't know why this just came to my mind, one of the benefits of going to school here, because they're all technical programs, you can come back to school and take any class that you've already taken as a refresher for 50 bucks. Fifty dollars, you can take the whole class again and that's really a nice benefit when you're trying to get the rust off of something that maybe you haven't used in a while. So our goal is to really make you the, uh, the highest professional possible. We're going to give you the beginning, middle, the end, and even after you're out, you're going to come back. We can help you even right. then. So you're, now the job is yours. You pick up the phone, give me a call. I'll be happy to help you personally, or maybe someone's already reached out uh, you know, to you from my department in the admissions team at 773-577-8100 is the main number. Feel free to ask for me, Peter Poletti, or ask for the person who contacted you already. And you know, don't get, out, don't get on the couch and just sit there. Get off the couch, pick up the phone, give us a call, and let's get you started in school. Thanks for your time today. We'll see you down the road. Okay. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, sir. All right. All right.